for today's watercolor sketch we will need watercolors a simple pencil any that you currently have eraser in case if something goes wrong at the sketching stage any round object to draw a circle I prefer to use a cute plate this way we also could have a snack in the middle of a process watercolors we also need a liner or a simple gel pen the main thing is a water resistance lines should not spread out under our watercolor blue pink undissolved it looks like bordeaux but believe me it's pink light blue lemon yellow purple you will have to believe me on this one as well black to begin with we take the object using which we make the frame I have a cute plate we draw the pencil around the perimeter Next, we make a pencil sketch to harmoniously fit our drawing into the frame. We draw the horizon line. On our reference, this is the embankment on which palm trees and other vegetation grow. We make this line not exactly in the middle, but slightly lower. On the left we sketch the palms. We don't try to make them the same size. They should be different, so our sketch will look more realistic. At the pencil stage, we do not draw the leaves. We only make light guidelines where they should be. We try not to put too much pressure on the pencil so as not to ruin the paper. Next, draw a second horizontal line, just below the first it will represent the embankment on which our palms grow. Let's finish with the branches of the palm tree.
we try to show them different in size and direction. Let the branches grow in different directions to the right, left, down, and even up. On the right side, we outline the vegetation with wavy short strokes. Now let's draw a reflection in the water. After the pencil squetch, we outline everything with a liner and proceed to drawing the branches of the palm tree. We also draw the reflection in the water, while not pressing the liner hard, with light and smooth movements. Vegetation does not need detailed drawing, we outline only the contour. We make the branches with short abrupt strokes. to add more texture and volume to the trunks of the palm tree. You can take a thicker liner and add lines in some places. Erase unnecessary pencil lines with an eraser. This completes the drawing. Let's proceed to the watercolor.
take a larger brush and prepare the colors for the sky that we need now. Along the contour of our frame, we moisten the sheet with water using a large brush. Fill the very top of our sky with blue. We try to apply the paint in short patting movements, thereby creating the texture of the clouds. Go down and add blue and pink to the blue color. Spreading over a wet sheet, they form beautiful and smooth color transitions. Take a clean brush again, and wet the sheet with water even lower. We reach the end of the branches of the palm tree, and then fill the sky with only pink. Somewhere a little brighter, somewhere more diluted in color. We are waiting for the first layer of our sky to dry up. Next, we will draw the water, the very bottom of the picture. The part that is closer to us will be darker, therefore, we take the finished purple color. If you do not have it, you can mix pink with light blue or blue. For smooth color transitions, do not forget to moisten the sheet with water. Apply purple color along the lower contour, mix blue and pink into it a little.
with the help of a clean brush and water. In some places we wash out the color, thereby drawing glare of light on the water. closer to the embankment, which is almost in the middle. The color of the water should smoothly turn into pink. Also, do not forget to blur the color in some places to create a more realistic water surface. Add some more blue color closer to the bottom edge of the frame. After the first layer of watercolor has dried, you can move on to the second. To add brightness to the sky, take blue again, and add to those areas where we think there is a lack of color. Add pink and blue by analogy. We try to immediately blur the edges with water, so that there are no clear boundaries of the color transition. Now it's time to mark the embankment. To do this, take purple on the palette, to which we add a little black, blue and pink colors. In general, you should get a warm grey colour. On the right side it will be darker, and on the left it will be lighter.
While we have this wonderful grey color, let's make some reflections in the water. Add a little more purple. Blur it with plain water, to prevent the reflection from looking clear. Close to the edge of the reflection add pink. With the same color, in some places, we will draw water ripples, with short smooth lines. Here we also blur the edges with water, so as not to leave clear lines.
Let's leave the water to dry and take care of the trunks and branches of the palm tree. We will fill the trunks with the same mixture of colors on the palette. Just add a little more black color. We leave a narrow, unpainted strip along the entire trunk of the palm tree. Later we will make the sun flares. For your comfort you can use a thinner brush. Next, paint on the branches. The color can be darkened. We work with the brush in the same way as with the liner, with short and abrupt movements. We turn to our vegetation on the right side of the picture. For her, we use the same color mixture on the palette, adding a little more pink, blue and purple colors. With short pokes we cover the entire area of this vegetation, while leaving small unpainted areas. Back to the water and the reflections from the palm trees. We take a grey colour slightly more diluted with water, and it is not clear, as if with wavy lines. We draw the reflection.
in some places. We make koriki horizontal nye stripes indicating ripples of water. Naturally, we blur all the boundaries. Water glare can also be added with a white gel pen. Add some shadows in some places. Then we will draw sun glare on vegetation, trunks and branches of palm trees. The water in a cup must be changed, or the colors going to be dirty. Mix the yellow and pink colors with the tip of the brush. and lightly trace the upper part of the plants on the right side. Add some of this vibrant color to our water reflection. Then we move on to the palm trees and paint over those parts that were not painted over with these orangish colors. On the branches, draw sunlight only on the lower part of the foliage and only on the lower branches.
Add details and shadows to the embankment. If desired, after the watercolor is completely dry, you can add highlights and shadows using a liner and a white gel pen. We remove paint spots with water. And voila, the magic sketch is ready.